How are you guys doing? Today is Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021, out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to review the elite performances and matchups from yesterday, Monday, February 22nd. And of course, I'm going to preview all the big matchups today as we walk through the world of sports one day at a time. Starting with the NBA uh, in Houston, the Houston Rockets took on the Chicago Bulls. And in this matchup, the Chicago Bulls would beat the Houston Rockets 120 to 100 after outscoring the Rockets by 20 points in the third quarter. For the Houston Rockets in this matchup, their leading scorer will come off the bench as their shooting guard David Nwaba would finish with 22 points and nine rebounds as well as two steals. And he also had a reverse layup that was, a, he had a reverse no look layup that I thought was pretty impressive. I thought it was the best play of the night. Um, in the 27 minutes that he played, he would shoot nine for 16 from the field as well. Uh, and for the, and their elite starting point guard, John Wall would finish with 15 points, three rebounds and seven assists in 26 minutes as he shot four for 14 from the field, one for three from three, and six for seven from the free throw line. For the Chicago Bulls in the night, their starting shooting guard, Zach Levine, would finish with 21 points, five rebounds, and six assists in 32 minutes, as he shot seven for 14 from the field, four for six from three, and a perfect three for three from the line. And the leading scorer for the Chicago Bulls was their starting point guard, Kobe White, out of Duke, or out of UNC, I'm sorry, Boo UNC, who finished with 24 points, 10 rebounds, uh, in 31 minutes as he shot 10 for 16 from the field and four for seven from the three th from the three point line with this win the chicago bulls are 14 and 16 which ties them with the hornets for the fourth with the, for the eighth best record in the eastern conference they currently trail the seventh place new york knicks by half a game and they are sitting a half of a game ahead of the 10th place miami heat just to show you where they are in the eastern conference standings and with this loss, the Houston Rockets are now 11 and 18, which is the second worst record in the Eastern Conference, as they currently trail the eighth place Golden State Warriors by four points in the playoff race, and they trail the first place Utah Jazz by 13 total games. Uh, jumping really quickly out to Dallas, the Dallas Mavericks hosted the Memphis Grizzlies, and in this matchup, the Grizzlies would, would the the Grizzlies would fall to the Mavericks, um, 102 to 92, after the Mavericks outscored the Grizzlies by 13 points in the first quarter. For the Grizzlies, their leading scorer would be their elite starting point guard of Murray State, Ja, ja Morant, who finished with 22 points, 4 rebounds, 9 assists, and 2 steals in 34 minutes as he shot 10 for 21 from the field and 2 for 6 from the free throw line. For the Dallas Mavericks in this matchup, their elite starting point guard, Luka Doncic, would finish with 21 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 steals in 33 minutes as he shot 8 for 18 from the field, 3 for 10 from 3, and 2 for 9 from the free throw line. The leading scorer for the Dallas Mavericks would come off the bench as their small forward Tim Hardaway Jr. out of Michigan would finish with 29 points in 28 minutes, shooting 9 for 14 from the field, 7 for 11 from 3, and 4 for 5 from the free throw line. With this win, the Dallas Mavericks are now 14 and 15, which is the ninth best record in the Western Conference. Right now, they trail the 8th place Golden State Warriors by a game in the Western Conference, and they trail the 1st place Utah Jazz by 10 points. With this loss, the Memphis, the Memphis Grizzlies are now 13 and 14 as they are also they along with the Dallas Mavericks are also one game out of the playoff picture behind the Golden State Warriors as both teams are even in the Western Conference playoff race right now as the Mavericks currently have one more win and one more loss than the Grizzlies that's why they are standing about even in the playoff picture jumping out to Oklahoma City the Thunder hosted the Miami Heat the reigning Eastern Conference champions and the Heat were able to pull up a 108 to 94 win after outscoring the Thunder by 12 in the fourth quarter along with 11 in the third outscoring them by 23 in the second half and they've been a much better team since Jimmy Butler's been back in the lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder in this matchup their leading score would be their would be their starting shooting guard Shea Gilgis Alexander who finished with 27 points and five assists in 35 minutes shooting 10 for 15 from the field two for three from three and five for six from the free throw line for the Miami Heat their elite starting small forward Jimmy Butler would finish with 15 points four rebounds and nine assists in 29 minutes as he shot three for 11 from the field and a perfect nine for nine from the line their elite starting center Bam Adebayo would finish with 19 points 13 rebounds and five assists in 37 minutes as he shot 10 seven for 10 from the field five for six from the free throw line as well um their starting shooting guard Kendrick Nunn would finish with 20 points five rebounds nine assists three steals and two blocks in 41 minutes as 
none, shut seven for 18 from the field and a perfect three for three from the line. And the leading scorer for the Miami Heat will be their starting shooting guard, Duncan Robinson, who finished with 22 points and seven rebounds, along with two steals in 37 minutes, as he shot eight for 15 from the field and six for 13 from the free throw line. Um, with this win, the Miami Heat are now currently 14 and 17, which is the 10th best record of the Easter Conference. Uh, in the playoff push, they are currently half a game behind the 8th place Bulls and the 9th place Hornets. Uh, and they are currently six games out of first place behind the Philadelphia 76ers. With this loss, the Oklahoma City Thunder are 12 and 19. That is the third worst record in the Western Conference as they trail the eighth place Golden State Warriors by four games and they trail the first place Utah Jazz by 13 in the entire Western Conference. Jumping out to Phoenix, the Suns went on to host the Portland Trailblazers and they were able to beat the Trailblazers 132 to 100 after outscoring the Trailblazers by 20 points in the third quarter and by outscoring them in every other quarter, they were able to pick up their 20th win of the season. Um, they are a Officially the sixth team in the NBA to pick up their 20th win. Uh, for the Portland Trailblazers in this matchup, their leading score will be their elite starting point guard, Damian Lillard, who finished with 24 points and seven assists, as well as six turnovers in 29 minutes, shooting nine for 17 from the field, one for seven from three, and five for six from the free throw line. And for the Phoenix Suns, their leading score would be their elite starting shooting guard, Devin Booker, who finished with 34 points, four rebounds, and four assists in 29 minutes, as he shot 12 for 17 from the field, a perfect two for two from the three-point line, and a perfect eight for eight from the free throw line. Also for the Suns, their elite starting point guard, Chris Paul, would finish with two points, three rebounds, and nine assists in 25 minutes, as he shot one for nine from the field for the entire night. With this win, like I just said, the Phoenix Suns now have 20 wins on the season. They are 20 and 10. That is the fourth best record in the Western Conference. Within the playoff picture, they are sitting a full game in the they're sitting a game behind the second place Los Angeles Clippers and the third place defending champs Los Angeles Lakers and they are also sitting two games ahead of the fifth place Portland Trail Blazers the team that they just beat overall they are sitting four and a half games behind the first place Utah Jazz with this loss the Trail Blazers are 18 and 12 which is the fifth best record in the Western Conference as they trail the Suns by two games and they trail the Utah Jazz by six and a half uh, looking out to or going out to Salt Lake City, the Western Conference leading Utah Jazz were able to beat the Charlotte Hornets 132 to 110 in Utah after outscoring the Hornets by 25 points in the second half, outscoring them by 21 in the fourth quarter. For the Charlotte Hornets in this matchup, their starting small forward, Gordon Hayward, would tie for the team high as he finished with 21 points. Um, as well as three rebounds and two steals in 26 minutes as Hayward shot nine for 15 from the field in a perfect two for two from the line. Off the bench, their shooting guard out of Kentucky, Malik Monk, would finish with 20 points and six rebounds in 24 minutes, shooting seven for 12 from the field, four for eight from three, and two for four from the line. And tie with Hayward for the team high in points would be their elite starting point guard, LaMelo Ball, who finished with 21 points, seven rebounds, four assists, and three steals in 38 minutes as he shot eight for 20 from the field, two for seven from three, and a perfect three for three from the line. Um, for the Utah Jazz in this matchup, off they have they had four players that scored in double digits or that scored at least 20 points i'm sorry starting with their elite center rudy gobert he did not score 20 but he finished with 10 points 12 rebounds and six blocks in 30 minutes as gobert shot three for four from the field and a perfect four for four from the line off the bench their point guard jordan clarkson would finish with 20 points and two steals in 25 minutes shooting seven for 15 from the field five for 10 from the three and sinking his only free throw of the night their small forward, Georges Nyang, would finish with 21 points on the night um, as he would go on to play. Um, Georges Nyang would play on, he would play 16 minutes. And in those 16 minutes, he put up 21 points, shooting seven for seven from the field and a perfect seven for seven from the, free, from, from the three point line. Also, their small forward off the bench, Joe Ingles, would finish with 21 points, five rebounds, and six assists in 31 minutes as he shot seven for 11 from the field and he shot seven for 10 from the the three-point line another player with seven made three-pointers um, just between those three players that scored 21 points they had a combined 19 made threes between them uh, and a combined 27 attempts which is even when you combine them is ridiculously insane and then the leading scorer for the Utah Jazz would be their elite starting shooting guard Donovan Mitchell who finished with 23 points four rebounds and eight assists as well as six turnovers in 33 minutes shooting eight for 17 from the field three for eight from three and a perfect four for four from the line 
uh, with this win. The Utah Jazz are currently sitting at 25 and 6, which is the best record in the Western Conference. Within the playoff picture, they are three and a half games ahead of the second place Los Angeles Clippers and the third place defending champs Los Angeles Lakers as it stands. And they do have the best record in the NBA as a whole. With this loss, the Charlotte Hornets are sitting at um, 14 and 16. That is tied with the Chicago Bulls for the eighth best record in the Eastern Conference. In the playoff picture, they are half a game behind the seventh place New York Knicks. And in, in, on the edge of the playoff picture, they are sitting half a game ahead of the 10th place Miami Heat, who are currently on the outside looking in. And then to the last game of the night, the Los Angeles Lakers, the defending champions, hosted the Washington Wizards um, in Staples Center. And in this one, the Wizards would come back in the second half um, after or after being down by as much as 17, I, as, as I can recall. They would go on to outscore the Los Angeles Lakers by 14 in the second half in order to tie it up, send it into overtime. LeBron James did have a chance to hit the game-winning free throw to give the Lakers the win, but he did miss. And then going into overtime, it would come down to um, Russell Westbrook drawing a foul, making the layup, missing the free throw, put the pressure on the Lakers, and the Lakers would miss the three to tie the game and send it into double overtime, giving the Washington Wizards the win for the night. For the Los Angeles Lakers, for the defending champs, um, their starting shooting guard, Contavious Caldwell Pope, out of Georgia, would finish with 21 points in 40 minutes, shooting 8 for 15 from the field, 4 for 8 from 3, and, thinking his, and making his only free throw of the night. Off the bench, their center out of Louisville, Montrez Harrell, would finish with 26 points and 9 rebounds, as well as 2 blocks in 23 minutes, as he shot 10 for 17 from the field and 6 for 7 from the free throw line, as he almost fouled out. And the leading scorer for the Los Angeles Lakers would be their goaded small forward, LeBron James who finished with 31 points, 9 rebounds, and 13 assists, alongside 8 turnovers in 43 minutes as he shot 14 for 29 from the field, 2 for 10 from 3, and 1 for 3 from the free throw line. With this win, the Washington Wizards are 11 and 17, which is the third worst record in the Eastern Conference. Um, for the playoff, they are within the playoff picture, they are two full games behind the Bulls and the Hornets. Um, and overall, they are seven and a half games behind the first place 76ers, as the Wizards have been playing incredibly well. Um, they are on a five game winning streak. They've won six of their last 10. And with this loss, the defending champs, Los Angeles Lakers, are now 22 and 10, as they are sitting with the third, they're, they're tied with the Clippers for the second best record in the Western Conference. Um, they are sitting three and a half games behind the first place Utah Jazz to give you a sense of where they stand in the NBA. With that said, looking forward to what's going on today because, of course, today is Tuesday. Um, starting with the primetime matchups to look forward to uh, it. Or blah, blah, blah. At 7.30, the Dallas Mavericks are going to host the Boston Celtics. It's, of course, Luka Doncic and Jason Tatum. Looks to be one of the better young-on-young um, -young matchups in the, in, the, in the league. And then at 10 o'clock following that, the Denver Nuggets are going to host the Portland Trailblazers as two of the West's up-and-coming teams look to battle against one another. Outside of the primetime games, at 7 o'clock, the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to host the Atlanta Hawks. Um, at, also at 7, the, Magic are gonna, the, the, the Orlando Magic are going to host the Detroit Pistons. At 7.30, the Brooklyn Nets are going to host the Sacramento Kings and the or at the same time the New York Knicks are going to host the Golden State Warriors also at 7 30 the Toronto Raptors are going to host the Philadelphia 76ers in Tampa Florida at eight o'clock the Milwaukee Bucks are going to host the Minnesota Timberwolves um, and at 10 o'clock the Los Angeles Clippers are going to host the Washington Wizards who are just staying in LA and looking to knock down both Los Angeles teams while they're in the city because Russell Westbrook is just built different uh, really quickly switching over to college basketball to give you a sense of what's going on in that arena unranked Oklahoma State hosted 18th ranked Texas Tech and they were able to beat Texas Tech 74 to 69 in overtime behind Caleb Boone's 18 points and seven rebounds with this win unranked Oklahoma State is 15 and six they are eight and six in the big 12 and with this loss 18th ranked texas tech is now 14 and eight as they are six and seven in the big 12 and also 19th ranked usc hosted unranked oregon as usc was able to be oregon 72 to 58 after outscoring oregon by 21 in the first half um, taj eddie would lead the way for usc with his 24 points with this win 19th ranked usc is 19 and four as they are 13 and three in the pac 12 and with this loss unranked oregon is 14 and five as they are nine and four in the Pac-12.
um, and then looking forward to what's going on for today's matchups at seven or at 6 30 15th ranked virginia is going to host unranked nc state on acc network at 8 30 unranked miami is going to host 11th ranked florida state on acc network at nine o'clock 20th ranked arkansas is going to host six ranked alabama on espn2 at nine o'clock 13th ranked creighton is going to host unranked depaul on cbs sports network and also at nine unranked vanderbilt is going to host their in-state rival 25th ranked tennessee um, and staying within the arena setting, but of course, jumping to the ice to give you a sense of what's going on within the hockey league, because of course, hockey's been getting started. And just like I kind of got to mention every time they're playing within their own division. So of course, when you see if you hear them playing against their own division, that, that that's kind of the point to limit traveling this year. Um, starting off in care or starting off in Charlotte, the Tampa Bay Lightning were able to beat the Carolina Hurricanes four to two as they scored two goals in the second and the third period to get their eleventh win of the season. With this win, the Tampa Bay Lightning are sitting third in the Central Division as they trail the first place Florida Panthers by three points. Um, the Calgary, or um, I'll I'll say within this division actually, the F- Florida Panthers. Speaking of the team that's at the top, they were able to beat the Dallas Stars three to one as two of their goals came in the second period um, to get their twelfth win of the season. With this win, the Panthers are sitting at the very top of the Central Division as they sit one point over the Carolina Hurricanes, who are now in second. Um, and really quickly jumping to the North Division, the Calgary Flames are able to blank the Toronto Maple Leafs, the team at the top of the division. They beat them three to nothing as Riddick would lead the way for Calgary in goal with 34 saves. All and, and, and of course, every single shot that was shot at him was saved. With their ninth win of the season, the Calgary Flames are sitting with the fifth best record in the or yeah they're fitting with sitting with the fifth best record in the north division as they trailed the first place toronto maple Leafs by a total of 11 points and staying within can or uh, that's the only game that happened within canada i'm sorry uh jumping out to the east division the new york islanders hosted the buffalo sabers and were able to win three to two after scoring two goals in the third period to pick up their ninth win of the season with this win the new york islanders are tied with the capitals for the second best standing in the east division as both of these teams trail the boston bruins by three points just to give you a sense of what the east is looking like uh, and then last but not least jumping out west the los angeles kings were able to beat the st louis blues in St. Louis three to nothing, blanking them behind Johnny Quick's 31 saves. And of course, Dustin Brown would lead the way with his two goals on the attacking front to give the Kings their eighth win of the season. With this win, the Los Angeles Kings are tied with the Avalanche and the Coyotes for the third best record in the Western Division as they trail the first place Las Vegas Golden Knights by a total of four points. Uh, continuing on, jumping out to Denver, the Golden Knights were able to beat the Avalanche three to nothing as all three of their goals came to the second period, and they now have 11 wins on the season with this win the golden knights are sitting on top of the west division as they sit um one point over the st louis blues uh and the arizona coyotes were able to beat the anaheim ducks four to three as three of their goals came in the second period dvorak their center would finish with two goals on the day as the coyotes picked up their eighth win of the season with this win the phoenix the or the arizona coyotes are sitting at or they are currently sitting four points behind the first place golden knights um alongside the los angeles kings and the colorado avalanche and then last but not least the minnesota wild went to san jose and were able to beat the sharks six to two the right winger zuccarello had finished with three assists to go along with his one goal and as the wild picked up their ninth win of the season they are currently sitting sixth in the west division as they trail the first place golden knights by a total of five points on the table because that's how close the the division is um really quickly looking out to what's going on for today especially on prime time at seven o'clock the new jersey devils are going to host the buffalo sabers on espn plus and then also at seven o'clock the washington capitals are going to host the pittsburgh penguins on nbc sports network those and then at 10 o'clock, the Vancouver Canucks are going to host the Edmonton Oilers at 10 o'clock as, of course, Connor McDavid um, is continuing to lead the league in point and continuing to run away with that lead. And jumping out to the worldwide sport that is soccer, Juventus hosted Crotone and they were able to win 3 nothing. Two of their first half goal, their, their two first half goals will come from their goaded Portuguese forward Cristiano Ronaldo. Both of them would come off of headers, and then their second half goal will come from Weston McKinney, uh, their resident American. And then with this win, Juventus, or, or I'm sorry, with the three points that Juventus gained in the table, they're now sitting third in Italian Serie A as they were able to leap over. 
four team or three teams in the table. Um, right now, they currently trail a second place AC Milan by four points with one less game played. So, of course, another win um, could shorten that deficit. Um, and then really quickly looking out to what's going on today. Starting with Champions League, because of course, I'm not going to forget Champions League. Um, Lazio, the team out of Rome, they are going to host the reigning Champions League champs, Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich's a little shorthanded and they have lost. They lost and they drew their last couple games ever since winning the FIFA World Cup. But of course, this is still a very formidable Bayern Munich side. And this will... This will be the first leg. So, of course, this game will be played in Rome. And at the same time, at 3 o'clock, Atletico Madrid, the team that's currently sitting on top of La Liga, is going to host Chelsea, a team that's currently out of contention in the Premier League. Right now, Chelsea sitting fifth. Uh, as they trail fifth or they they trail West Ham United by two points, but Chelsea is looking. I mean, it, they're kind of up in the air. Atletico Madrid is looking incredibly strong, so I, I wouldn't be surprised. In this first game, the first leg will be in Madrid, so it'll be very it'll be very interesting to see how these two teams develop how how this game develops. And with that said, that's everything that's going on for today, Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021, out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims, and I want to thank you once again for listening to all 20, 21 minutes of this piece. I hope all is well, and I will catch you with two individual profiles after this. And once all of today's games, all of today's exhibitions will have finished, I will get back to you tomorrow on Wednesday, February 24th, 2021, out here in this quarantine. Um, thanks once again. I hope all is well. Thank you for listening to my piece and peace out. I'll catch you with the piece right after this.